Welcome to module 10. We're going to learn about the blur tool, sharpen tool, and smudge tool. So what we're going to do is come here with your rectangle marquee, select this car, make sure the background layer is selected, command C to copy, command V to paste, and let's just move it over here. So I'm going to zoom in. And what we want to do is first select our smudge tool which is the third tool. Yours might look like this. Click and hold to select the smudge tool. What we're going to do is make it look like this car just flew through like a wormhole or it's doing time travel. So I'm going to make this intensity. I'm going to change the strength to maybe 30. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks better. And basically I'm just creating, just clicking and dragging because I want it to look like this car just zoomed right through. And if that happened, it would be creating this effect. And then we could do it a little bit around the tires too. And notice I'm only doing it to the back of the car because we want to make it look like the front of the car already went through and it isn't like done. It's done and it's not warping anymore. And then I'm going to click and hold, select my blur tool, and I'm going to blur out just part of the middle so it looks like it still has a little bit of motion blur happening to it, like it's still going through. And then I'm going to select the smudge, I mean the sharpen tool, and come in here and sharpen just the front part of the car to make it more in focus and sharper edges. And that's it. You can do Command T to scale it, make it a little bit smaller to fit inside of your rectangle. All right, let's do a screenshot to turn the car in. Shift Command 4 and just take a screenshot to submit into eCadence.